I'd like to congrat say congratulations to our queen. Uh, we're always proud to have a Ram uh, represent us, and uh, we'll be there to, uh, Friday night to uh, take a picture with you, and uh, it'll be a special thing for us. We're, we're looking forward to it. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Kiwanis Club, as usual, uh, for putting on a great event. Um, as other coaches have said, this is probably the premier jamboree event uh, not only in the state but in the south or maybe the country uh, the teams you line up are competitive the way y'all do things first class is great and uh, and we appreciate it uh, we can show up play come home get a check I mean you know it's, it's a great way to do things and uh, I can't understand why anybody would not want to be a part of it uh, with me here today is my principal, David Lejeune, and assistant principal, Jerry LeBlanc. Um, back here, uh, again, I'm uh, proud of them. Uh, I think he's the best principal around. I wouldn't uh, uh, want to work for anybody else. Um, the uh, Crying Towel Award is something that uh, I haven't been very good at. Uh, I'm old for 13. <laughs> uh, and as Kevin said, we, uh, we miss guys like Rip and Mike Mowad and those type of guys because I always knew if Rip or Mowad or any of those guys were around, I was never going to be the worst guy up here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, things have changed and, uh, uh, you know, I think, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad for Happy Jack right now. Uh, now, uh, all I can really do is talk about, about our football team and what we've gone through. Uh, I thought we had a tough schedule, and then I heard Dane talking. Uh, I'd have a serious talk with my AD uh, if I was Dane, but uh, uh, I can't say, I, I can say I could have a serious talk with AD, but I'm, I'm not the AD, but I made our schedule. And, uh, you know, it, I know the, uh, I can't do anything about the jamboree, and we kind of had to get a scrimmage at the last minute, but the scrimmage was with the uh, state finalists, the Jamborees were the semifinalists, our first ball game is with the semifinalists, our second ball game I pick up the paper every day and I read where Rustin has another guy that committed to a Division I school, uh, and then our third game is with Karen Crow who uh, has, has beaten us the last three years, and then we start district with New Iberia and Barb and uh, and, and that tough uh, role. So, uh, you know, it, it's a tough season, and, you know, it's one of those things that, hey, you, you know, you, you got to line up and play every Friday night. So, uh, so it, it's something uh, that you got to do. Our, our football team is, is young. On the defensive side, we, we, I think we returned four or four time starters. Uh, when we lost one, uh, moved to Erath. Uh, there was a starter. We, uh, we've got, uh, Rob's got about six of our guys over there that uh, he's picked up uh, with our rezoning. And uh, so, uh, you know, we, we've lost a few. We've had a little attrition. Uh, offensively, we have eight guys back, and, and which is uh, a good stable of running backs and, and a bunch of big linemen if we can get them to move. And, uh, but nobody behind them. We, we probably is... Uh, uh, Depth-wise, we're probably, you know, we're, we're holding our breath every time we run a play in practice so that nobody gets hurt. Uh, Louis can attest to that. If he's seen our, our twos and threes on a film of our scrimmage. Uh, I'm sure they didn't get much out of it because we uh, we got handled pretty good by by with our second and third teams against uh, a good Neville team. But uh, but we'll bring them out there and we'll line up and we'll play and. Uh, and hopefully everything turns out for the best, and um, that's all I've got. So thank you. Uh -huh.